painting peeps and welcome it's Kathleen from Cos Creations welcome to the no fall zone I'm glad you're here I've had a great day it's sunny and 85 degrees today here in my happy place Rick and I jumped in our Jeep and went down for one of the first times to uh, our favorite watering hole on the water and had some shrimp burgers and uh, shared one and a little garden salad and a cold Allagash beer and uh, ah, I'm so grateful. It's, it's nice to be out and about. They practice social distancing at the bar. There were only six seats and they were all 20 feet apart so we felt good about that, but I'm home now. Rick's upstairs taking a little nap, <laughs> and I figured I'd come downstairs and spend some time with y'all in my happy place. So let's talk about what we're doing. I'm doing a little bit of experimenting today because that's my jam. We are working on a long, narrow, big guy. This is a gallery wrap 12 by 36 inch canvas. I hope you guys can see it all. And um, everybody's getting their bloom on, and I sure enjoy looking at everybody's bloom paintings, but I haven't really dove into it yet. Sweet Karen Durson from Waterfall Acrylics gave me a little, little class um, about a month ago, so, but I didn't have all of the materials I needed, Australian Floetrol and this and that. So I kind of put it aside, ordered some Australian Floetrol, but it's been on order now for about five weeks. So I don't know what the heck has happened to it, but I'm kind of gonna do a little experiment. My base coat today is going to be some of the paint that Karen asked me to pick up. This is, and I don't have the can. I apologize, I can't find it. <laughs> This is a HGTV paint. It's a white and it is, I believe, a satin gloss. I'm not sure and I apologize for that. But it's a little bit thicker than my Artist Loft paint. And a lot of people who do, do their blooms do it on um, house paint. So that's gonna be my base coat today, but I, it's not as thick as most people use. I've added my pouring medium to that. I know a lot of people who do blooms just use the paint without thinning it down very much. But the secret ingredient to me is this, I think. I'm not a scientist, but I've been paying attention, I think. This is the Amsterdam Acrylics. This is the Titanium White. And most people who do their blooms mix their titanium white from Amsterdam with Floetrol. Some mix it one part paint, two parts Floetrol, one part paint, three parts Floetrol. My Amsterdam white today is mixed one part paint to three parts Floetrol. And this is going to be my center swipe line. People tend to get some really nice lacing, and I think that this is the secret ingredient. I don't know. We're experimenting, and we'll find out. So this is going to be the center of my swipe line. The HGTV house paint in white is going to be our base coat. Our other swipe colors are this yummy, 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 yummy color right here which is Deco Art Metallics Peacock Pearl with a couple of drops of the golden turquoise. It just darkens it up to the most rich, beautiful teal color, guys. I love that combination. And you don't need much of that golden paint. Our next swiping color is Montmartre Acrylic Colors, and this is the gold. This is my sweet Aussie from Queensland Gilly Coops paint and I ordered it because she does some beautiful things with it and this is a nice paint but it's thick as heck guys I mean it's as thick as I don't want to tell you what it looks like when it plops out of this bottle it's so thick I mean look at these these all have the same amount of paint in them but I had to add I had to thin this down a little bit because it was so so thick and when I thin my paints down, I usually don't use water. 
totally okay to use water as long as you don't, I forget what the ratio, use more than 10% water to paint because then it compromises the integrity of your pigments. But when I thin my paints down, I just add a little bit more GAC 800 because GAC is less thick than Floetrol. So this is my Gilly Girl paint, my Montmartre. I wish I could say it as good as she does with that wonderful accent. This is Treasure Gold's Fire Opal. This is a pretty color, but it's like translucent. It changes, it has a pinky, reddy, but yet coppery hue when you add it to your canvas. So we're gonna play with that. And then once again, our center swipe line is the Amsterdam Acrylics Titanium White. So we're experimenting. I'm not sure what I'm gonna swipe with. It'll either be a paper towel or my handy dandy little flexible plastic, which is just a report cover. You know, when you were in school, in high school, and you had to do a report, you put it in a nice little folder with a plastic top on top of it. I took the plastic off, cut it into different sizes to make a really nice flexible swiping tool. So that's what we're doing. I'm going to put some tunes on. I am going to put some tunes on for you and we are going to play. Thanks for being here, guys. Let's get busy. Guys, I forgot. I wanted to show you. It's almost dry and I am over the moon excited. Um, my last video where sweet Courtney Hauscher from Courtney Hauscher's Art joined us and gave us an explanation on the best way to get cells without using Floetrol. And I want to show you the painting that I did because I just love it. I hope you can see it, but it has dried so beautifully. Look at all those magnificent cells. If I could just figure out how to control them, where I can put them where I want them, because this is cell mania. But I am so pleased with this painting. This is my Courtney swipe. Isn't it just absolutely stunning? I can't wait to put it in a nice floating black frame. So. There you have it, guys. I'm gonna go ahead and get our canvas ready to go and we're gonna do some painting. Try to make it all